Mindsets. personally on me instead of putting it anybody else. like I feel like for me it all started when I was by myself I feel like there wasn't a, it I was having such a hard time to redirecting myself to the moment I'm just sitting here let me just be in this moment so maybe that was the way I start, started to become aware is that I couldn't be by myself that was the time when I was constantly in a in a war within myself it's like I couldn't be and it's the thoughts, I guess it's yeah. back to, you know, your mind. Um, and it's, you know, like, I guess it's become very natural or we just programmed like this mm -hmm. that we think about things and it's like the thoughts pop up and they keep coming up. Um, and and you're sorting it out yes. in your head. And sometimes mm -hmm. we, we tend to reflect, but we reflect on why did it happen? Mm -hmm. Oh, this happened and it shouldn't have, this person did this, they shouldn't have done this. And going back to those expectations that mm -hmm. we have on other people of the way we should be treated. That's a very beautiful way of explaining, mm -hmm. and I'm really thankful that you brought that up. And uh, let, me, let me answer that question in a, in a healing way. Mm -hmm. Because now we are in life and journey, and mm -hmm. we have been taught certain things by our parents, our mm -hmm. teachers, mm -hmm. our society. And we have seen our parents saying and doing certain things. And we have seen a lot of challenges in them. Mm -hmm. as, as little kids, we have observed them. Mm -hmm. Certain things we liked and certain things we didn't like about both of them. Mm -hmm. right? And sometimes it could be their discipline. And sometimes it could be like uh, if, more, some, if one person wants to be a free bird and the father or the mother is supplying certain fencing area, they wouldn't like it. So because of multiple reasons, because the soul is a very independent, highly vibrant energy. It doesn't want a lot of fencing around it. And we all will react as in childhood in a different way. Now, because we have all those fundamental things sitting inside our subconscious mind, those are the, the uh, what I should say, the basic level with which we are looking at the world. So whatever my mother or father taught so me, the, values, the soft the values, the values. And I would also say mm -hmm. these values and this belief has become so much of a part of our, uh, our living system mm -hmm. that sometimes you might say on your conscious mind, say, for example, like, uh, I will take the food. Oh, I'm actually on a dieting and I don't want to drink or eat certain thing. But because internally you like that food, wherever you go, you will be served that food. Mm -hmm. And then they'll push you so much that you will not be able to get out of it, right? You, will, you can see this in your life. And or maybe if you are having a fear, you have seen your mom and dad were fighting. You or anybody, I'm not meaning you guys, I'm just taking the examples here. Mm -hmm. um, and then you see and you, got, you thought that I should never have. I don't want, I don't like men. Oh my God, my dad gets angry so much. I don't want a man like that in my life. Guess that is a fear sitting like a trauma inside us. And every time, as you're growing, as your age is growing, and as your puberty hitting, and the waves of having to have a man in your life starts blooming in, what, what comes first? First thing is, I don't want to have that man. And the more you focus on it, unknowingly, because you truly don't want, guess what is what message are you giving to the universe? So the message can The be message is that, mm -hmm. so it does, that don't doesn't get registered like here. Fine, yeah. So mm -hmm. you, you, you say, I don't want. So what do you, what do you don't want? that man, that how my dad used to do or my brother used to do. So that is like a mirror image with emotion that gets registered into the blueprint. Mm -hmm. So the, now the universe is reading, that's what you want because you're focusing on to that. The more we focus is that's what we're going to attract. That, yeah, wherever is our focus. That's, mm -hmm. So unknowingly we mm -hmm. come to a place where we, and so we go to a, a work field, right? And in our mind, past boss was not that great. And we say, God, universe, whichever way, Shiva or, you know, God, Ya Allah, whatever, Ya Jesus. I don't want that kind of guy or that kind of person as my boss. You know, I just hate that person. The more you stress, this is the, this is the area, this is the thing, this is like a main switch. Mm -hmm. Whatever comes out of it is directly going into the pool where blueprint is made. That's what we attract. I think you make a very good point and I'm, for us mm. to understand, I'm sure that it makes sense to people who, you know, who do healing and who have their um, knowledge. I'm thinking that, um, you know, if we are thinking, when we are thinking of negative things, we are also attaching so much emotions to that. 
is whatever happened in the past, if the boss wasn't, if your supervisor wasn't um, kind to you, and you were feeling hurt at that time, and now when you're thinking about that, emotions come back. It's like almost like a baggage, you know, mm -hmm. you were, you're opening up that bag, and there comes the thoughts and the emotions. Correct. So, um, so it's more so it's more and more important to get into the present moment Absolutely. because that's happened in the past there is nothing our emotions and thoughts and no, nothing can change that but the hardest thing is like to let go of that and to come to this absolutely so mm -hmm. what we do also most of the healers and most mm -hmm. of the uh, counseling spiritual mm -hmm. as well as the registered counsel what they do is they kind of take your whole synopsis of mm -hmm. what happened what mm -hmm. trauma what you have gone through mm -hmm. and take you back to the emotion there and mm -hmm. then take away all the charges and mm -hmm. show you exactly what you have seen what you perceived at that time is only from one angle mm -hmm. there are many other way you can attach other reasons to it mm -hmm. and so they shift that so we all do that so we shift that perception where you are sitting so that now you see a different movie there so for example i want to tell you even though I was doing this healing in last 22 years here and probably even 20 plus years, I started this very early. I remember um, seeing hands, astrology and all this from probably about a nine or 10 years. I could forecast. Somebody comes and asks for things like even young age. Even with that kind of love for my creator, with that, mm -hmm. when my husband passed away a couple of years before, mm -hmm. It was very difficult. Five days in the hospital. I know he's going. This is his freedom. I know this is the end of the journey. Mm -hmm. But I still, it was difficult for me to swallow it down. I, mm -hmm. I swallowed. I was praying for him. Mm -hmm. I was by beside. All those things still went because I had a lot of mentors, a lot of guides. I, I bowed to their, you know, mm -hmm. soul for all the support. All so many pray, people were praying for me for that strength to be there. That one place where I, where I collapsed uh, was when they were taking him to the burial ground. Until then I was praying, I was strong, I was around my family. I bust out into tears and I said, Lord, just lift me right now and just give me the support. You will not believe in that, in that nanoseconds, in that second, I heard this voice saying to me, why, why are you afraid? When you were in the womb of your mother, did I take care of you? Now, at the end of your journey, you go in the womb of Mother Earth. Don't you trust me? And as these words I heard, I just calmed down. So this is why I say the universe will not leave you. Sometimes you, this is weak. This person is weak because we're going through a human journey. Mm -hmm. we, can't, we can't say how we will behave in a certain situation. But we know that the universe has the back on us. We are immersed. We are sitting just like a baby in the womb of a mother or a baby in the lap of a mother. Once the baby is there, there is no fear for the baby that something is going to happen to that child, right? Mm -hmm. That's how we are all here. But because we are not told this, but because we are not given this knowledge and that this source is so much loving. And when loving means there's also sometimes when to grow higher and get better knowledge and to lift up all the potentials, we go through this valley, just like alternative current. You have mm -hmm. a positive cycle, you have a negative. So there's a valley, there's a mountain, there's a mm -hmm. valley. You go through a valley, you calm down, you increase your endurance, you get patience. Mm -hmm. So this is all for a good reason. If mm -hmm. something happens, so with that, it, it was... It took some its own time, but I learned more. I spiritually expanded more. I understood the spirit journey, the spirit world more after he left. I never mm. feel that he's not with me any moment. I feel mm. he's a part of me. And not only he, the, all the spirits who are left, because they're just still here. Mm. It's how you want to expand your third eye and see them. So every, everything comes in. When on the face of it, it looks like it's a big challenge. You feel that you will tremble down. But no, the source has the back on you. Source will take care of you. Just like when a baby falls down, what does the mother do? Does she go and have a laddu or a, watch the TV? No, <laughs> she runs there. Mm -hmm. The baby is somewhere far away and calls one time. Mama, what does the mother do? She mm -hmm. puts her stove off and she runs there. Right? See that attachment is not only in human being. It's also the same in all the species and monkeys and in, in fish, in, in all. Any, any being inside the water or land or in the air, they all love their species, their kids or their young ones in the same way. But, so who are we then? We are the light. We are the light spiritual beings 
which is in the form of created by and with him all the time. We are the small babies in the spiritual, just like the drops mm -hmm. of the ocean, which is the ocean is the whole light energy here, or the ocean of compassion. We are the drops of that, mm -hmm. each one of us. And when we die and go, we know we all are together still. This compartment, which is the beautiful body, has brought us into a lot of challenge. Because mm -hmm. we're not looking at each other from that way that, you know, what I see in you is that, the one who created you is looking. This is why we have this beautiful greeting, Namaste. The place where, the seat in me where the light is sitting, I bow to you at that place where you and me are one. That's just the beautiful definition of this Namaste. And that's the de definition of all the greetings that we give to each other. May peace be upon you, the peace, the presence of this peaceful light in me, greet the peace in you so that we are connected at the bond of love, peace and compassion. We don't go there. Mm -hmm. We don't want to go there somehow mm -hmm. because we want to be so different. Oh, she wore that red, pink color. Oh, I won't wear pink. Oh, she, he, he, her husband is tall. No, he doesn't look it's that. that so this is this yeah. is the com competition and comparison to make myself look. I'm unique and I'm different and I'm more blessed. And we have five children. Am I going to look at one of them and say, you are most better and these four are, are ugly and not good? No. If we don't do that, do you think this light is going to do? Mm -hmm. So for this light, even a monkey is that important. So is a mosquito. Mm -hmm. So is an ant. And we are the highest powerful creation among all his creation. So he loves each one of us. right? So that, that understanding has to come not here at the conscious mind, we read a lot of books, it has to come deep down and it does not come without we going through that pain. We have to lose and gain and lose and, and every time when something so deeply happened to us, that's when we go into the zone of silence like how you said. Sha, I had to recreate that space mm -hmm. where I was able to tolerate myself. This is, this is true. Sometimes we can't tolerate being alone. And I right. know definitely mm -hmm. that's where my strength, I feel like, you know, that's where I grew the most. My strength grew the most is when I was by myself learning to be by myself because I had nowhere else to go but inside. So, beautiful. Yeah, so that was beautiful because I was not with anybody. I was nobody was there to have uh, this conversation, nothing outwardly. So that's when um, because I was in that space, I couldn't go anywhere but inside. inside. That's beautiful. But having said that, I want to go to a little bit of the dark questions now. <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> You know, we, we, we are mind sense. We talk about mental health and, and mental wellness, you know. Sure. And we have, um, you know, a lot of guests come. We have got people calling us. And, you know, when we look at the pain and suffering, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, the pain and suffering, which is, um, I feel like, and again, this is my feeling, is like, you know, um, people get to connect with the universe through, like you said, experiences, the journeys and all those stuff. A couple of weeks ago, we had a very young girl on our show who shocked me. It was a very young girl, but I felt like she very was already true. there, very intuitive, like very grounded, very, you know, she was um, like the spiritual, uh, spiritual, beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. So it was like, I, I thought it's not just about um, um, that, you know, people get to the age of 50 and no, 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 boom, no, you know, no, you are, no, no. no, it's not that. Yeah, it's from childhood. You will know those. There is a saying in Hindi, hon har veer han ke hot chitni paat. That means when a plant is growing, mm -hmm. by looking at the juvenile uh, shoe, leaves and the way that you know how beautiful this plant is going to grow up. Mm -hmm. So some people, some souls are exceptionally blessed because they completed their higher journey on the last birth. So they're mm -hmm. coming back again to actually being a tool to help other people. So those are the souls, those who get from childhood, and you see a lot of young yogis right now, men yeah. and women, because mm -hmm. those are exceptionally blessed souls, and under the guidance of any senior mm -hmm. mentors, they pick up very fast, and they cleanse themselves, and they know, I'm not here for all these tiny little things. Mm -hmm. I'm here for a bigger purpose, and my bigger purpose is to let my light shine. And so go ahead, was, the story. Uh, that was what I was going to come to is, you know, I think most of us feel like we need the mentors. We need the guidance. Um, there's a lot of spiritual books out there. There's a lot of, um, you know, through media and everything, there's a lot of talks going on, a lot of information out there. But we need to allow ourselves, when we are struggling, is to connect 
to somebody who can absolutely. provide us with that guidance. Absolutely, absolutely. I, I agree. Yeah, so now going back to my other question. So let's talk about, uh, for example, um, domestic violence. You know, we, we domestic violence. So I know that um, if I'm understanding correctly that, you know, if I'm connected to the one, I'm one with the oneness, um, then I can go above and, you know, somebody does me wrong, I can ra uh, rise above that. But um, how, when, like, for intimate relationships, you know, when you are in intimate relationships, abuse goes on for a very long time. Like, I, I, I can answer. mind boggling. That's a beautiful, yeah. that's a beautiful. So here is what I say. Mm -hmm. Here is, let me explain to you. Mm -hmm. The word abuse comes because... Mm -hmm. Something is done in a way the other person is hurt. Mm -hmm. Now, hurts are of different levels, right? Exactly. Especially if you're talking about an intimate relationship. Intimate. Mm -hmm. Now, I'll give you two ways of understanding this. Mm -hmm. General way where we are, we are in the physical world. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to talk from a physical world, okay. right? So we as human beings, as a spiritual or a physical, mm -hmm. have the right to choose what we want and how much we can take. Mm -hmm. And that's what's the right thing to do. Say, for example, mm -hmm. if I'm in a relationship and I have, you know, domestic abuse at home, mm -hmm. now, even if I think, even if for a second I think that I'm this all exceptional person, I can take it and I'm just burning myself, mm -hmm. I don't have the right to do that. Because by me burning myself, every, uh, everything in the universe is taking this energy. Beside my own children suffering with me, mm -hmm. besides spoiling their career, their life, I don't have the right to do that. Mm -hmm. So this is number one, spiritually or non-spiritually. First so thing, care yes, yourself. take care. Your heart has mm -hmm. to be filled with love and joy. Mm -hmm. Now, if it, is, if it is a small, like a illness or a challenge, in mm -hmm. you, still, you still go through the, the valley and you mm -hmm. have the endurance, patience, you are still learning there. There's nothing that you can fight with anybody here. You can't just let go of this environment. But when it comes to an environment in which you are living, mm -hmm. right? That means day in and day out, you are living and breathing here. And if this breathing place is so poisoned, mm -hmm. it is so toxic, mm -hmm. the first duty of us or whoever the person is to get out to a place and save them and the kids around so that the other person is also getting an opportunity to learn and get better in their life and also the people who support them. Mm -hmm. whoever the parents and uh, mm -hmm. mother and sisters, they also learn that it's our time to take care of this person. Because here is what it is first. That person is mentally, emotionally, physically sick. Mm -hmm. That's why I said as you cut and squeeze something, what comes out is the juice inside. Mm -hmm. And it could be the multiple reasons. It could be what the child has seen as a kid. It could be what the child has learned mm -hmm. you know, in the school. Or could be how he, he or she translated the inter information that person got in, in the world into their personal life. So answer to that question, even though it's a dark question, nobody on the earth should go through a phase where they are constantly taking and taking and taking, ruining their own life, ruining the life of the children, ruining the life of everybody around and the entire creation. Because whatever we are doing here right now in this room, it's not only, just like uh, audio waves and radio waves and the mm -hmm. TV waves, what happens? It is everywhere. Broadcast everywhere. It's broadcast. If you have yeah. something, to, some gadget to tune it in, you will start hearing the songs, mm -hmm. right? Just like a radio or whatever. Mm -hmm. So are, are all these emotions that we are saying in these four walls? But however we are saying, it's in the, in the entire creation. So these waves are going in the mm -hmm. entire creation. Mm -hmm. So if you're joyful, that joy is being spread into the entire creation. Even a tiny ant will receive a portion of that to it. But if you're in pain day in and day out, beside your body, cells are all going through illness, everything around you is suffering. Do you think the benevolent creator, the universal love, the compassionate, million times more than the mother's compassion, will tell you to tolerate that and be there? So true. So, so the answer to that is yeah, here. Yeah. Um, so it's very important that we take the space to heal ourselves. Correct. When we heal, then only we can be of that level to able to help somebody else. Correct. I mean, and then it happens. It mm -hmm. could happen simultaneously too. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. while while you're healing yourself and you're understanding, because mm -hmm. a lot of awareness comes at mm -hmm. the level of our mind, our level of our thoughts. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, there's we need a lot of discipline, a lot of responsibility to understand every cell of my being is either happy or unhappy. So if I'm physically good, but I'm mentally suffering, my body is still suffering. 
right? So understanding all the different dimension. How can I, I how can I take care of my body as well as my mind and spiritually I need certain discipline that meditation that is very much needed because all these chakras that we have around this there are seven layers of light around us mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so before even I come to you it's my light that is coming to you mm -hmm. and the last two layers of my light is a divine layer so my divine layer is talking to your divine layer in the beginning but if I put projection of my thought into my mental layers here say I don't like this lady I don't like her to uh, like to work with her Mm -hmm. What is the message you're receiving in your ears? Mm -hmm. This Shah may not be a right fit for me. So we are judgmental. Yeah, so yeah. we are yeah. tuning. Mm -hmm. that up. Correct, yeah. and mm -hmm. we are tuning mm -hmm. our, our every moment based on how we are operating with our system. Beside looking at the other person, A. But the, the question of uh, domestic violence, mm -hmm. That's something you are intimate with, two, two people are intimate with each other. And mm -hmm. if it is, if the level is so high, I got a lot of counseling people mm -hmm. where relationship is challenged. Mm -hmm. And a lot of it is also external factors of, you know, consuming things. And also a lot of cultural values mm -hmm. that, you know, the man should be this way and he should, he has the right to do this. A mm -hmm. lot of misunderstanding and misinformation being, misleading information being, you know, seeded inside there. So this, there are many reasons. Of course, they both need to come to a conclusion to at least take care of that beautiful two uh, plants that they brought onto the earth with the kids, two or yeah. three or four. So we, even if one person thinks I have all the right to do this, no, you don't. The other person has to use their wisdom and their light to see, you know, in order for his benefit, I need to move now from here. So um, I think if I was looking at it, that was when we talk about setting boundaries. Correct. Um, but before we talk about boundaries, I just want to go back. So if I'm thinking that if I'm looking out, I'm judging. But if I'm looking at that's where I'm going to find the healing, the compassion, he the love. Correct. This is how I'm going to grow. Correct. Healing and also you get a lot of wisdom when you, you start, start looking look inside. inside. Because mm -hmm. you, could, you could say, for example, now, um, maybe... You said something to me, mm -hmm. and maybe that was a part of this interview right now. Mm -hmm. And I am looking at you, and that's maybe the first time I heard. Mm -hmm. Maybe I have an answer, I don't have an answer. Mm -hmm. I bow to your soul, because the one who is ask, asking the question is not somebody different than the light itself. Exactly. So it's an experience for mm -hmm. me. I might not know all the things. When, when I know, it will flow through me. Mm -hmm. When I don't know, I bow to you. I feel like I need to know everything today. <laughs> <laughs> so irrespective of I am, irrespective of I am uh, answering or I am receiving, yeah. we are still both, all the three of us, flowing through this universal light mm -hmm. and the answer will be given. Answer will flow. Yeah. Because we put an intention before we came here mm -hmm. that this is something we are doing for all the people all who the people. want to get something out of this. Exactly. Right? Mm -hmm. So, yes, go forward. <laughs> so now going back to setting boundaries. So we are talking about domestic violence. So, you know... Um, if we are not healing, if we do not take care of ourselves, we're going to be constantly in that space where we're blaming the other person. Absolutely. So how do we set boundaries that we go back and fix ourselves, that we work on us? Because we cannot, like obviously, we cannot work on anything unless we have worked on ourselves, unless we have come to that point where we feel we are ready now to tackle the other problem that's on hand. Okay. So... Mm -hmm. To understand where we need to work, mm -hmm. look at your problems first. Okay. So say, for example, you have some problems with children, or mm -hmm. you have some problem with your husband, or in a relationship, or mm -hmm. maybe any relationship. Yes. The problems always root in relationship. Mm -hmm. Relationship is the beautiful place where we can pick up so the source uh, energy or source uh, guidance where we can see what should I do next. That's the place where, just like a red light, you stop, and a mm. green light, you move. This is the place where you see different lights, where you can pick up the information. So in a relationship, you see what's not working. First place to look at that. Okay, this is not working, this is not working, this is not working. Write down everything in your journal, and now look into it. Meditate and say, what should come out through me so that I can start fixing this on my level? But what we do is, because it's a relationship, we you always think, this. yeah, <laughs> we always think mm -hmm. we are 100 percent great, mm -hmm. and the other person need to do certain things, and he needs to or she needs to learn. You know, I'm this perfect person. And, I, and I've seen um, being in this field for such a long time, uh, sometimes people of high caliber, people of highly educated level, with so much of wisdom can also go wrong. 
because now we are using all this theory and all this information from the place of vibrational frequency of my being. And in this place where I'm vibrating right now, there can be challenges also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not 100% pure with the light right now. So because of which, when I'm going to sit with you, and I'm going to talk to you, you would quickly pick up and say, Sha, you know what, that is great, but I think there is a way we could try to navigate from here. Because the other person, so in this, everything that is happening in the universe, you need one observer and the one who is observing you. So one, two, and this light. Mm -hmm. We need three to complete a circuit here, mm -hmm. right? Because when I'm looking at you, I'm taking this light and giving it to you, and I'm giving you all the joy. Mm -hmm. And you're looking, you're taking that light and giving. So we both are like mirror to each other. Mm -hmm. We both are like mirror to each other. Mm -hmm. We both are helping each other. So in any situation like that, you, you want to know where you have to start, you will have to go to someone. You will have to take someone. And that someone whom you can trust, mm -hmm. who is humble, who is laid back, who is not going to judge you, who is like your own mirror reflection. And once you can go there and say very plainly, this is what's happening, this is what's here, I'm here for this and this reason, and it will start giving you the answer. Because remember, that person is just a channel. Mm -hmm. the answer so is coming you know, from somewhere yeah, else. It all starts with you, you know, what Absolutely. you control. I know we're coming to the end of our time. Um, so a lot of information, and, and I think at some level we, all, we know this, but it's, it's kind of what we're programmed to, and then reprogram, rewiring, um, you know, a way of thinking, a higher level of thinking. Um, so it was really nice having you uh, in the studio and hopefully we'll do this again and talk mm -hmm. more about this because I think, uh, you know, any mm -hmm. type of healing or any um, journey does start with ourselves and healing ourselves and Correct. looking at ourselves. Mm -hmm. Correct. And just, just so that uh, I want to thank you for the opportunity to be here with you guys, wonderful souls. Um, there are many modalities that's available for mm -hmm. different kinds of healing. And it's not that it takes a lot of time. It's very fast. Like you know that once you come, mm -hmm. once you go through, even the Reiki itself, you don't have to do anything. It knows. It's, it has the information in it. It's like omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent. It will go where it needs the healing and you will see instantaneously that you have a lot of clarity you are completely relaxed so this is available mm -hmm. and in case if you choose i'll be obliged yes. i'll be thankful thank you so much <laughs> it's um, my pleasure thank you for coming to the thank studio you. and thank you for watching mind sense with us i'm your host meena jay oh my whom host sarita chand mind sense <laughs>